Hello, Nightmare Nemo here, and we're back with another collection vlog. This time we're looking at my Fear Street collection. As you can see, it is growing, but not quite as big as the Goosebumps collection, although the books are actually bigger. So, over here to the left are the original run of Fear Street, starting with the first book, New Girl, and the others are not in any particular order. So we got, which is interesting about the new girl and Switched, which I think Switch is like one of the, the last Fear Street books. But you see there is new cover art. And because these were like a reissue and they're Switched. Also, it's not just a reissue because they kind of modernized the the book they kind of introduced like cell phones and more modern pop culture references and stuff so i'm, I'm not sure how much that changes the the feel of the story because i haven't read them yet but so we got the original ones we got missing the prom queen the surprise party the new boy they did the new girls they had to do a new boy they got the stepsister and then this is the original version of the new girl. Let's kind of show that differently. Because she looks kind of like she's ghost-like. There's like a fog around her feet. So like, maybe she's a ghost. I don't know. It's the back. So personally, I I think the original cover is way better. You can just see the both. The other one is like, oh, just. The girl in a skirt and showing off her legs, and this one is shows more of uh, what's going on. He had to learn her secret or die trying. And this one is making new friends can be deadly. Uh, this is kind of generic looking. So that's that. And then we have Ski Weekend, the best friend, at the overnight, and and then we have. This is a special collection. Collector's Edition. Uh, Goodnight Kiss. This includes two super chiller. Goodnight Kiss and Goodnight Kiss 2. Plus a new story by Arl Stein. And you can see the back there. and Pretty cool. So Goodnight Kiss and Goodnight Kiss 2 were part of the original Fear Street series. Let's put that there. And... Somebody commented on one of my Fear Street cheerleaders episodes and requested, like, hey, can you review Fear Hall, the series? And there's this oversized book, Fear Hall in the beginning, first part of shocking two-part special. And there's the back, a special message from Earl Stein. So, this kind of... Come with me to Fear Hall. That's the creepy college dorm built many years ago by the Chris Fear family. Hope and her roommates live in Fear Hall. I hope they don't lose Hope. Hope's boyfriend lives there too. They're all good students, best friends. Everything is going great until one of them becomes a murderer. Now Hope is about to find out that life at Fear Hall can be a real scream. I hope you'll join me for Fear Hall. This story has so many scares. It took me two books to tell all. P.S. You'll never be believe what I came up with for the next book. And I think that's a joke. This is like, oh, okay. <laughs> The next one is the conclusion. And if you notice, there's the girl's face there. It's the same. It's like one of those photorealistic. They just use a real person's face. So it's like, we're going back to the most terrifying dorm on campus. And uh, apparently this is a Dollar General number one dollar book back in the day. And there's another. I'm not, you, can, you can pause the video if you want to read the whole thing. And then we have... The ones I've covered so far, we got this giant-sized cheerleaders, the first evil for some reason. I don't know why these are bigger than the originals. But then we have second evil, third evil, the new evil, and the evil lives, and of course New Year's party. So we have the Cataluna Chronicles. There's three books in the series. It is. These covers are really silly looking. The Dark Secret. 
and then you have the deadly fire I mean all the covers are so far look like they're all like dumbfounded like oh my god I don't know what's happening and we have the evil moon with this lady with a derpy kind of face on top of a sports car and apparently this whole series is about a haunted car that kind of like Christine I guess so we'll, we'll get to that eventually and then and there's uh, Silent Night so check out the review if you haven't uh, it's a lot of fun I enjoyed it and then we have there's there are like endless amounts of spin-offs from Fear Street like way more than Goosebumps so we have so this is the seniors series of books and they all have this covers like this gimmick of see so like it's like there's always a, a hole or a tear in the book and then you see it's like a yearbook pictures like who will survive and then let's party you're invited to die and then it uses real life photos of people uh, perhaps to its detriment I don't know <laughs> looks kinda silly it's it's very 90s so there's in too deep the thirst no answer sweetheart evil heart and then wicked the the more interesting ones I think is the thirst because it's can a vampire get enough I think these are all well Let's see here. Only two of them are super chillers. I'm not sure that just means that they're longer than the other books or... I don't know. This is whatever. Senior year is a killer. So... Maybe that one actually involves a vampire. I don't know. And then... We have this other one. Called Wicked. They're too hot to handle. Ooh. I think it means that... The girls have supernatural powers, like they're witches or something. So that's kind of cool. I actually like this little gimmick. It's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely something different. And these are part of the relaunch of Fear Street. So they're like legit, like big size books. So uh, the first one is The Lost Girl. So it's a Fear Street novel. I got this for Christmas. And it's a uh, New York Times bestseller author or something. Maybe you've heard of him. That's pretty cool. And then it was a really good deal on um, this part of the relaunch. It includes two books in one. Party games and don't stay up late. So, as you can see, it's pretty big, and then it has a picture of Earl Stein, in case you don't know what he looks like. So, that's, that's going to be a lot of fun to read. And lastly, and it's the Fear Street Saga. It is a collection of the original Fear Street Saga, which basically told the very beginning of the the Fear family and how everything went wrong and how it placed kind of a curse on Fear Street. So we got Betrayal, The Secret, and The Burning. Let's see. Little paper dolls with blood on them. So Fear Street is cursed. And it's a little advertisement for one of his other books. So that's cool. And just to show some miscellaneous ones I picked up because I, I bought like an auction off eBay and there's just like threw these in there too because they're Arl Stein books. This is The Babysitter and there's like four or five sequels to this. And it's not related to Fear Street, but it kind of looks like it would be. You know. And then we have this. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's The Beast. Uh, it's so strange looking. It's like it has these furry paws and they're unchained and there's like the ghost of a bearded man and they're on a roller coaster called The Beast. Is the roller coaster really haunted? Thrill ride. I, I have no words. This is, this is a thing. 
I will definitely have to review this at some point. It's so strange. And this is... Apparently there was a sequel to this. Why not? Maybe we have more of this. And then there's... Superstitious... Terror... Okay. Uh, this is one of uh, Arl Stein's adult novels. I think it's one of the first ones he's done. Apparently this one was kind of like panned by the critics or whatever. They didn't, they didn't really like it or something. I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, that's just what I've heard. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to review it and find out. Alright. So that's it for my Fear Street collection. And I will definitely continue to be reviewing Fear Street books. And as long with Goosebumps books. Because they're a lot of fun. And it just kind of changes things up. Instead of just reading all this Goosebumps all the time. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye.